Well, in part two of this video, I'm back at Birdsong Conservation Area, determined to catch a long-eared sunfish that I did not get in part one. In part one, I got on the wrong stream and got lost. And while I was on a different stream, I was walking around the edge of this pile of brush, starting to walk over to the gravel bar on the right when I got in loose gravel and sunk to my wake and destroyed my camera, which was not waterproof. And now we're back, ready for part two. This is a lot better access point than we had the other day. You actually have a little path to go down here. It's really kind of neat. Kind of a neat place to go. And it's really hot here today, and it's cool under these trees. Well, the little path doesn't go very far before you get into the bushes and the trees again. There's actually a bridge here where you access the, the little creek, but you have to walk through that little wooded path and a little bit through the woods to get to the bridge. I'm under the bridge now, and there is Brush Creek. Not very much water, not very big. I'm out of Uncle Josh Fly Flick which is what I use for these kinds of small fish. Uh, so I took some larger pork rind and used my scissors to trim it down about the size of a fly flick. Because if you don't have something to put on the bend of the hook, these little fish will hit the lure and not the hook and they're very difficult to catch. I'm gonna use this little spinner which I call a fantail spinner I designed it and make it for my own use and the reason it's effective is that the spinner is behind the head instead of in front of it as most spinners are and the little hook is totally isolated with the little fly flick on it so they can home in on it. I'm all reloaded and ready to go on the second half of this video. Okay this is where I'm going to start my fishing. This is what the water looks like from in my tube. Lots of shaded areas and things like that on these little creeks and the fish usually congregate in those. So I'm going to start. When you see those yellow uh, gravelly spots, these are these little sunfish, these little long-eared sunfish. Uh, spawning and building their nests and I'm going to try to zoom in and see if you can uh, pick it up uh, there's actually a blue a long ear on the nest I don't know if he shows up on film but they are spawning right now so if you bring a lure by those nests most of the time they'll come out and try to run it off I'm still trying to catch the fish that's on the nest, but so far I've had no luck at that, but I did catch this little green sunfish. He must have been trying to invade the nest too. Anyhow, he took my lure. I have changed to a jig because the spinner was scaring him off. I pulled the little jig into the nest and just let it sit there. And after a while, the little long-eared sunfish decided he didn't want him in his nest, so he grabbed it. Isn't he beautiful? Orange belly, beautiful fish. And I'm going to turn him loose so he can go back and continue to protect his nest. A real small long-eared sunfish. Probably nobody else but me would enjoy catching these little tiny fish, but... Uh, setting in a spring-fed little creek, 97 degrees, and I'm cool in the water and enjoying the company of these little guys.
most of the fish I'm catching are very small, but once in a while you catch a nice one like this guy. He's not too bad. Caught a little bluegill here. So far I've caught three species of fish. Long-eared sunfish, green sunfish, and a, a little bluegill. Nothing big but lots of fish and a lot of fun. Notice the different color on this little long-eared sunfish. The male of the species changes colors during spawning season. Beautiful horny chub. Got a little orange patch behind his eye. Just a great looking little fish. Isn't that beautiful? It took about five minutes for this little guy to get used to me sitting straddling his nest before he would come back and protect it. This area had several different nests in it, and close observation showed that not only do they protect their own nest, but they fight among themselves for territorial rights. Notice the color of this big guy. You can tell that he's a male. <laughs> 